Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Oh, look at that. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are making chicken tikka in the high sapienta 24 litre air fryer. We're using this, this caged thing. We're going to use this, it's a rotisserie kebab gizmo. So we're going to load up the kebabs with chicken tikka and we're going to cook it in the air fryer. Let's show you how to do it right now. Okay, I've got some cubed up chicken breast here already and we want to go in there with a squirt of lemon. Get the lemon juice in. It's about half a lemon and a tablespoon of garlic and ginger. A little bit of salt and we're going to give it a mix up and then we want to marinate this for about two hours. You can do it less, you could do it 30 minutes to an hour I'm going to do it for two hours and then the next stage of the marinade I'm going to marinate for four hours. So it'll be six hours in total for my marinade. Okay, there we go. Two hours in with our spices. Now, this is homemade mint sauce like Coleman's. There's a link on the channel now if you want to make it. If not, you can buy Coleman's. In with some yogurt. And then in with some red colour, which is optional. You don't have to, but traditionally it's red. And then you've got to get your hands in and you've got to mix it all in. Mix it all in and then we're going to cover it and we're going to leave it for four hours minimum. Now you could do this cover it, stick it in the fridge overnight and you've got some lovely marinated chicken. That's it, wait four hours. So we've got eight of these skewers and what we're going to do, we're going to thread it up like we would any kebab. Okay, so straight through the skewer Now depending how big that you've cut the chicken depends on how big or how many of these you're going to get on these skewers. So we've got about four on there look because these are quite big. So we'll just put that to down there and we'll carry on. Okay, so we've got six skewers there. I've got two of these left over. I'll put to one side. Okay, so there's a trick to this. Now you take your kebab. Now obviously it's got a, a pointy end on there. So we just put that in there like that. And then this on here, just push down. And it drops in like that. It's nice and easy. It's not hard. Now we've got six of these things. So we have to think about where they're going. We want it to rotate evenly. Again, take that and just push it in there like that. It is that easy. You know, you put this end in first and then just push it in. So let's come up here. Let's show you again. So that end is in there like that and you just push like that and it just clips in. It's very easy. So there's our kebabs on our rotisserie. All we need to do now is get it in the air fryer. Okay, so let's turn it around, select the rotisserie and it's at 180 for 45 minutes. I think that's too long for this chicken. So we'll leave it at 180, but we'll bring down the time to about 28, mm, 28 minutes. Hit start and let it do its thing. Mm. 
that looks absolutely superb the smell of this chicken tikka unbelievable what do i think to it up to now i think i think it's a great piece of kit it's easy to use it's cooking around there nice and gently fantastic that's it end hot Look at that, that is amazing. Look at that. That is unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> chicken tikka made. Okay, it doesn't take long to cool down, and then all we do is twist, like that. It's as easy as that. So where you have the curve on the kebab, like that, that's the way you twist, like that. And it releases, it's so simple. Look at that. Oh, juicy, soft. Rotisserie kebab gizmo, 24 litre high sapienta air frying. Perfect. What more could you want? Now, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.